Good morning, my lovelies. I am here at Bloor and Young. I'm trying to say Bloor, Bloor, like the people in Toronto. <laughs> it is about 9.30 in the morning. It's five degrees Celsius, 41 Fahrenheit. Let's take a peeky poo. Get some buildings. Ooh. I've only had one iced coffee this morning, so I think I'm okay. I did arrange a late checkout this morning from the hotel, so I was up early and uh, decided I was going to do a couple of videos. So for this walk, I'm going to be doing the Mink Mile and Yorkville. And then I'm going to hop back on to the uh, TTC and go someplace different. I got a few hours, so I can probably crank out some videos. The, uh, the Wi-Fi at my hotel sucks. It's hotel Wi-Fi. I'm so used to like my high speed that I have at home. Thank you, Eastlink. <laughs> and um, it's like stupid slow. Like I know that <laughs> I know that like uh, YouTube has been pretty well pathetic with uh, uploading lately. But come on. So we are just going past Holt Renfrew. As Mark would say, or kiddo, that you guys know, that's a Shishi Poo Poo department store. Of course, he picked up Shishi Poo Poo from me. There's their iconic fuchsia uh, flags. Now, I don't know if, I think I may have mentioned this yesterday in my video that I did. I'm not sure how the order of this is going to be uploaded. I probably will upload in the order of, of how I record it. But, <coughs> pardon me, when I was looking at the weather, I just shot at the Manulife uh, Center. When I was looking at the weather before I left and I saw the forecast for the weekend, it was saying it was going to be around like, Oh, 14 degrees. So I was like, okay, I'll just pack a hoodie. I'm on day three of wearing this freaking hoodie. <laughs> I do have like a, a jacket with me, but it's super light. And I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. And I knew at five degrees that I was going to be frozen. There's the uh, YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, part of Holt Renfrew. Probably a purse from them because I hate shoes. Shoes are functional, in my opinion. Um, probably a purse with them would probably cost me about six months worth of rent. <laughs> so we're coming up to the intersection of, I'm going to say it my way, Bloor and Bay. I can't say it like blue with an R. Bloor. Bloor. I was on the TTC and we were coming up and the announcement was like, Bluer and young. It's like Bloor. I know it's double O, but still. I wonder how many asshat drivers I'm going to have an experience with. <laughs> so I am walking on the north side. But I am going to go to the south. So yesterday was quite a busy day for me. I recorded a video with uh, Mr. Strides. And then we met up with the uh, Ken Continuum and we collaborated and we had three of us live streaming at the same time. Ken and I were both on YouTube 
and Johnny went on for a few minutes to Twitch. So at one point, we had the three of us streaming simultaneously. It was uh, <laughs> quite funny. I actually, I did enjoy it. And we had live stream going from Riverdale East off Broadview going down and we followed Dundas to Spadina because we were all going out for dinner at one of our, like all three of us share her as our channel viewer. She's always in the chat and it, her name is Susan. And we went to her family's restaurant called Taste of Seafood China. And if you're ever in the GTA and you're in Spadina and Chinatown, Go check it out. The food was, as Susan would say, amaze balls. So there's Holt Run for Men over there. When I marry, no, I'm not marrying. When I get myself a sugar daddy, <laughs> And he's going to be 75, pretty well near death. I'm getting him to shop for me. Or just give me a credit card and I can just go shopping. I would go to Hermes. I would shop along here. I would frolic around and I'm kidding I'm not hooking up with a 75 year old sugar daddy Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'm waiting for my coffee to kick in this is something we don't have in Halifax granted the window display is out because they're closed we don't have Rolex I know I know I'm going to be going past shopping that we don't have really in Halifax. Like, okay, yes, we have winners because that's coming up. We have La Cité en Provence at Halifax Shopping Centre. And we do have Zara and Aritzia because I passed those earlier. Some fine Italian designers, Dolce and Gabbana. I was told I'm a little uh, stop the uh, stop and smell the roses kind of a person. I take that as a compliment. Besides, I'm from Halifax. I'm up here. I'm going to show my viewers where I am. The house of Dior. Oh, we have Coach at home. I'm not going to show Coach. Brooks Brothers across the street, right next to a Winners and a Home Sense. We'll just go past Prada. They're known for their handbags and shoes. And Cartier looks like they're having a facelift doesn't surprise me they are an old older more mature jewelry ho house known for their famous red boxes for their jewelry and across the street is also the house of Gucci there is a movie coming out soon with Lady Gaga and Adam Driver and it's the story of how there was a, a murder in the Gucci family. Escada? I know I'm just like zooming back and forth. So over here we have the Burberry store. Next to that with its famous Teal. I don't know what color box. It's like a 
seafoam blue greenish mix is Tiffany and Co. And then we have Louis Vuitton beside it. So we're coming up to Blord Avenue. Avenue on the right. And Queens Park to the left, because they do change names. And straight ahead is the Royal Ontario Museum. Won't be making it this trip. <laughs> So look up Avenue. I almost went. <laughs> and we need this iconic. This is the intersection. There's looking down Bloor, eastbound. I'm starting to see the um, sun coming up above the skyscrapers. It is going to be a sunny day. I didn't see what the forecast was going to be for later. I figured I'd walk on this side of Bay Street because I'm going to be going past the parking garage. And we're going to head back into the Yorkville neighborhood. I may have to window shop at a store that I'm interested in. It's the Kate Spade store. Hey, I like purses. So that's my jam. So we're just going past the Park Hyatt Hotel here. I think maybe a night here. It's probably half a month's rent for me for one night. Now I was out um, with brunch yesterday with a couple viewers and other YouTubers and we went our separate ways. I went to an event that I was planning on going to. So when I met up with Godwin, Godwin L is his channel's name on YouTube, we met up because while I was at this event he went and got me some cookies from Farm Boy because he keeps raving about them so I'm gonna have to uh, you know check those out. And here I was walking down Young Street and he looked and he goes, you look like you own this city. I said, I'm taking over, I'm taking over for the weekend. And he goes, you blended in with the locals. So I basically said for the two years of my life, I was a local. They're doing some uh, work on the sidewalk there, and on the other side there was some construction. So we're going to cross over and go down Yorkville Avenue. Do, 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 do. So that's a look at Yorkville. I'm in front of a building. When I turn around, when I cross the street, I'm going to show you. Every time I see this in either Johnny's or Ken's videos, I'm like, I love this building. 
I love it. I love it. I don't know. It just has like this unique charm to it. For a Sunday morning, it is awfully busier than I thought it would be. Ooh, look at this old car coming by. That's quite uh, nifty. We did see a classic car yesterday on one of my videos. So I'm hoping that we, uh, I got that on, on film. Film, I'm so old school. Hope I got it on my uh, SD card. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pan over and show you the building that I think is really cool. Dude, I'm going slow because I don't wanna give people vertigo. I think I like it because of this uh, central archway that goes into like a courtyard behind it. I mean, it's a newish property. It's not old. It has like a little bit of a low rise or high rise for Halifax. <laughs> and then it has an adjoining tower. Whoop. I don't know. I just think it's neat. I just love the archway that leads out to a courtyard. And I can see like flowers. Mums are in season, so everybody has mums planted everywhere. A little laneway and we're going past I think it's I say Chibo but I could be wrong so there's a lot of Medi spas I think of Medi spas I think of Botex Rejuvederm, chemical peels and microablation, and some minor plastic surgery. It's uh, obviously it's closed because it's early, but going past uh, Bulgari, it's in a jewelry store. I'm gonna go up here. Thank you. It's when you know I'm out of town, I'll still stay, say thank you to cars when they stop and I wave. Do people do that in Ontario? Inquiring minds want to know. So we are going down Hazelton Avenue. Now, at one time before this became very high end, this neighborhood was Canada's Castro district. It was full of the hippies and, and free thinkers and writers, poets, everything. And this is where they, you know, it wouldn't be surprising to see Joni Mitchell having a copy or playing her guitar in Yorkville. Possibly Gordon Lightfoot as well. Sylvia and Ian.
This is the entrance to Yorkville Village, formerly known as Hazelton Mall. So I'm gonna go down Scollard. I'm zigzagging, I don't have a planned out route. I just wanna go and take a peek. So this was a very bohemian, cool neighborhood. And then somehow it shifted probably in the 70s and most likely in the 80s. <clears throat> Now, as a former hair stylist, there's Vidal Sassoon. And as the old slogan says, if you don't look good, we don't look good. He has a daughter in Los Angeles that is still keeping up with the hairstyling. She is a, a stylist. I think it's, I can't remember, I think it's Eve Sassoon. I think that is her name. She is one of his youngest daughters. So she is keeping the family business alive, <laughs> as well as his widow. And I can't think of her name. I always want to say it's Beverly Sassoon, but that was his first wife. And she was the one who helped him start up the empire that we know. Little bit of hairdressing history. So a lot of these homes, ooh, sorry for the sun glare, whoopsie. Um, are farmer homes, but now they're businesses. Greg May, hair architect. I, uh, I used to joke around when I was dating a, an electrical engineer a few years back. He was an engineer, his brother was an engineer, he had, his sister was an engineer. So it was an engineering family, basically. And when they wanted to know, hey, what do you do? And I said, I'm a follicle engineer. <laughs> It sounded, you know, so I could fit in, but you know, hair architect is good, but I still like my follicle engineer. I am rambling. That's okay. That's who I am, it's part of my charm. And I'm tired and I've only had one iced Americano this morning. And I'm running on an empty stomach. I don't normally eat breakfast, so I'm not hungry yet. The Plastic Surgery Clinic. I am happy with my body. I don't need to alter it in any way. I think since I've been up here, oh, we're back to bay. I think since I've uh, been up here for the last like two days, I have walked so many calories off I haven't gotten to a few places that I wanted to go for eating um, so I have to do that at some point today because I had a request from kiddo to go to Popeyes because we don't have it yet in Halifax there is one that is going to be um, opening soon off Larry Utech So, but that will be, that's a little far out of the city. So what we're going to do, I told him I will go and get one of the, the chicken sandwiches there. So we're going to go back down to Yorkville Avenue again. There's 
Apusateris. Now there was a controversy with them at the beginning of the pandemic where they were jacking up prices of sanitizing Lysol wipes, hand sanitizers, things like that, and going crazy ridiculous prices for it. And they got caught and they, I believe they had gotten fined. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody is in the Toronto area watching. And watching, uh, leave me a comment down below. Say, hey Bev, you're right on. Or say, hey, that's wrong, this is what happened. <laughs> It happened in, in Nova Scotia too. It's not just a, a Toronto thing. There was a grocery store up in um, Cape Breton that did the same thing. They were uh, selling Lysol wipes at the beginning of the pandemic for I believe like around $100 for a tub. For $3.99, maybe $2.99, depending on what store you go to in the, um, in the province. Ooh, thank you. That was a nice little Mercedes that stopped for me. See, when you're nice to drivers, they might be nice to you. I can't say I'm looking cute today because, I mean, I got home last night and I edited. Oh, copyright, so I gotta keep talking. I um, basically had to do that and I called kiddo just to check up on him because that's what moms do. Oh, better pay attention to where I'm at. I will have to walk down the other side of the street because this is the one with the uh, sidewalk art. <clears throat> but um, talked to him for a little bit, got washed up, and crashed. <laughs> and crashed hard. <laughs> so full belly from, from dinner and... Uh, 24,000 and some odd steps later. <clears throat> so we'll go down this side. just so I can show you the sidewalk art. Look at the sheepdog. Beautiful dog. Oh, see, he I'm likes the. Hello, hello. Look at you. I love your little ponytails. Yeah. Oh, you're so friendly. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, oh, I know you were talking about me. <laughs> yeah. Hi. 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 Oh, my goodness. Look at you all prettied up today. <laughs> uh, you too. <laughs> You know me and dogs. <laughs> oh, she had the cute little top ponytail on her head. <clears throat> I haven't met up with a dog in a video for a while. Granted, I've been stupid crazily busy with work. So I haven't had a uh, chance to get out as much. But this weekend, this is the treat weekend for all of you guys, because I'm just, this morning, I'm going to be going out quite a bit. So we're back, uh, that was Bel Air Street, in case anybody was wondering. And I'm back onto Yorkville Avenue. Let's stop and smell the roses where the red door is. No, but this building is quite interesting. For some reason, my Zoom, like to zoom in or zoom out. Well, I have my wide angle on and that shouldn't affect it, but for some reason, this is, you know, my trip. I gotta have glitches.
Ooh, a candle store. I love candles. Candles and incense. Not a big fan of shoes, but this is the uh, Le Bouton shoe store with its signature red. Now the story why they have, he has red on the bottom of his shoes on the soles is that he wanted, he was doing a fashion show and he wanted to do something that was unique for his shoes. And his sister just pulled out her red nail polish and just painted the bottom of the shoe. Rumor has it, that's how it all started. And across the street is the house of Chanel. And coming up, we are going to see Versace. And beside that is Brunello Cuccinelli. Now, when I was uh, younger, my uh, sister was totally into watching like fashion television on TV with Jeannie Becker and Bind Vogue and Cosmo and everything like that. So I got to know the names of the designers and the houses. And since it was like the late 80s, early 90s, I got to know who all the supermodels were at that time. So now we're gonna go down Old York Lane. I feel like a homeless schlub <laughs> with my hoodie, my ripped jeans, they're meant to be ripped, and my $20 Amazon sneakers, which man, I feel like I'm walking on pillows with these. They were a lifesaver. I didn't have enough room in my suitcase for my Blundstones, because I do love those. They are super comfortable as well. Bond, James Bond. <laughs> the reason why I want it to come up here, because my store is coming up. Well, the store that I want to go to, I might have to check it out at uh, the Eaton Center. And if they have a location at Yorkdale, I will be at Yorkdale Mall later today with my friend Tanya. I will be staying at her house um, this evening. We're going to meet up this afternoon after I check out of the hotel at Yorkdale. She lives out in Etobicoke, so. And we're going to have an old fashioned sleepover. And I have, I still have a cider left over from Mr. Godwin, who gave me some cider, grower ciders, I think it was. So, I'm gonna go across the street here. Oh, I didn't poke the sign. There's two Starbucks on my street. Two. So there's a Yorkville landmark is Hemingways. And I only know that because I watch other people's videos. So. And here is an entrance to Bay Station. Now Bay Station has a second line underneath that is not used. I think it was only used for probably about, ooh, like not even a year, maybe, back in the uh, early days. This is a big giant rock that they had broken into pieces to, uh, I think from Muskoka. Kind of reminds me of the rocks at Peggy's Cove. I was there last week recording a Patreon video and channel members video, and that will be up on my main channel 
within the coming weeks, so check that out. It is about close to an hour long. I am not going to attempt to climb up this. I'm too tired, <laughs> to be honest. I get home tomorrow evening in Halifax, so I'm hopefully going to try to get my... I'm, when I'm at Tanya's place, I'm going to quickly edit my yesterday's walk with uh, Johnny Strides and get that uploaded and possibly doing a premiere Monday evening when I get back to Halifax. Porsche Carrera. Okay, I'm gonna do this because I see it a lot and people just walk by it. I'm gonna walk through it. So what I'm hoping I'm given, maybe like the Toronto walk tubers a chance to see their city through my eyes. Because I may pick up things that, you know, they don't really take notice of. But again, I might not. <laughs> Fingers crossed, hopeful thinking. Cheesecake. I saw a cheesecake cafe. Mazdas don't count for Yorkville. So we're gonna go on the north side. I'm a leisurely walker. I like to take in my surroundings. an ice cream parlor. You scream, I scream, we all scream for ice cream. Granted, I haven't had ice cream in a while. <laughs> the new you cosmetic clinic. Got Fiori O'Hare. Another look down Old York Lane. The city is coming alive. This is my type of store with all the silver work and there's a gallery inside.
you know what? I totally got myself lost and I can't remember where Kate Spade is. <laughs> That's okay. I'll see it. I'll see it probably at the Eaton Center. I do have to uh, get down there. I'll do that later on to, uh, this morning before I have to check out of the hotel. So I'm going to keep talking over the music. I think it's Ariana Grande. My niece is just... That's her, uh, that's her favorite artist, her and Selena Gomez. I don't get today's music. I'm turning into that person. I came from a generation where we had pretty much the, the best music going, being in the 80s. You know, when one person wrote their own songs, instead of having like about 30 or 40 people writing their songs, and there was no such thing as auto-tune. And pop stars and rock stars were not social influencers as well, because we didn't have social media back then. All right, my lovelies. I am going to uh, be ending this fairly shortly. And I am going to pop down onto the TTC and go to my next destination to record my next video this morning. If you can see in the distance, it's kind of hazy, but there is the CN Tower. I walk down Bay Street the other night with Ken Continuum because we were heading down to Union Station so we could pick up his girlfriend, the lovely Megan. And the CN Tower was just absolutely stunning. It was all lit up and it was like at the point that I saw it at the uh, at King and Bay, the money shot with Roy Thompson Hall in the front. And I kicked myself in the ass for not getting a photo of it, but it was all purple. And if you know me, you know purple is my color. I love it. So, yeah. Yeah. So there's a few places that I want it to get to, but I haven't gotten to. But you know what? That's an incentive to get my butt back up here for another visit and a longer visit to see more and hopefully bring Kiddo along to do that. So we are looking at the intersection of Avenue Road and Bloor. And Queens Park because Avenue Road turns into Queens Park so with that I'm gonna thank you for watching I do have uh, links down in my description if you do want to support my channel there's links to my PayPal and patreon as well as that I do offer channel memberships on my main page and right about now is probably where I'm gonna put my Spring Garden Road tiered Patreons, and I still want to thank all my other Patreons that are on the Barrington Street level, as well as the Brunswick Street level for all your support, as well as my channel members. Without your help, I wouldn't be up here. <laughs> so thanks a million, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.